All right, I've slid the chassis back into the cabinet, put in the original 10 BP4 CRT, slid the ion trap magnet back on, and it's just in an arbitrary position now. So when I turn this set on, I wouldn't be too surprised if I don't actually get a picture. Because if that's not positioned correctly, the electron beam coming out of the gun actually just shoots off to the side of the neck. Also put all the knobs back on. It's kind of a pain taking all these knobs on and off, but now that I know this set's pretty much working, it's nice to have them on so you can get a little bit finer control than trying to just grab the, uh, the brass shaft of the controls and rotate it. So, let's power this up. Got everything plugged in. So, here we go. Sound. But, like I figured, no picture, so I'm going to set this camera down in a stationary position so I can reach around behind and manipulate that ion trap and let's see what happens. Alright, not something you'd want to normally do without taking a lot of precautions. I've done this before, so I have some idea what I'm doing. Well, that wasn't too hard to find. You got lucky on this one, the correct position, I guess, to have the magnets pointing straight down. That's the matter of sliding it back and forth. Basically, you want to get the brightest picture you can that's centered. Which looks to be about right there. And there's some thumbnail screws, or uh, thumb screws, I should say, to tighten this down. Brightness and contrast seem to work pretty well. Focus. Alright, so this picture tube has more life left in it than uh, the tester sure seemed to indicate. Of course, it's only been running for a few minutes. Who knows, after a few hours of use, it could start fading. But hey, it's not bad at all. Not bad at all. Especially consider I haven't uh, recapped. I haven't even touched the lower chassis at all, and there's still some more old capacitors left in the top chassis. Alright, so, yeah, now, now that I know that the, the heavy work's done and the set actually does work pretty well, what will be left is to actually pull the chassis back out and replace the remaining electrolytics and uh, any out of tolerance resistors, and then I'll take out this lower chassis and clean it up, remove the rust, and replace those couple of electrolytics that are down there. Overall, this has been my quickest, uh, quickest restoration. <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed these videos. And uh, next up, I think I'll be going back to finishing off some radios.